Minerva Teichert painted this mural in January and February of 1949 in honor of her Utah art agent, Alice Merrill Horn, who had passed away in October of 1948. Horn had placed over 100 Teichert murals in public buildings during the 1930s and 1940s, and the two women had become close friends. Indeed, Teichert gave the eulogy at Horn's funeral. Teichert called this mural Squaws, and its subject matter reflects Horn's insistent desire for Teichert to paint Indians. Teichert loved painting this work, and as she worked on it, she told her daughter that it should be the best she had ever done. She said, it's as complete as a goblin tapestry. Tapestries woven at Goblin's Tapestry Manufactory in France in the 1600s and 1700s were the finest produced in Europe. Like mural paintings from the 19th century Beaux-Arts mural tradition in which Teichert was trained, tapestries were meant to be decorative, a term Teichert used to describe this mural. Its decorative aspects include a shallow depth, with the figures spread across the canvas in a grand procession silhouetted against a backdrop composed of the bright yellow painted foliage of aspen trees. Adding to the decorative effect is the elaborate broad border painted at Teichert's instruction by Denina Hayes, a young woman from the town of Cokeville, Wyoming, where Teichert lived and worked. Borders were also significant elements of Beaux-Arts murals and were an important addition to tapestries in the 1700s. It is not difficult to imagine the whole composition with its border, bright yellow leaves, purple shadows, and touches of red woven into a beautiful tapestry. While the mural captures the young native women in an idealized and timeless past, occasional notes of realism highlight the scene. The young woman to the far left, for instance, reaches back to comfort what must be a crying baby in the cradle board strapped to her back. Also, while most of the faces have undefined features, those of the two young women in the center are more clearly defined. Barbara Dayton, now wife of Elder Elton Perry, and her sister Carol of Cokeville were the models for these figures. They report that the horses were already painted in when they arrived at Tykert's home to pose.